What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna to learn how to set up synchronization with WooCommerce subscriptions. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and all the links in this tutorial can be found in the description box below. Okay. Okay, so if you don't have the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin, um, you know, you grab it or else this tutorial might not make that much sense. Or if you're just overall thinking about getting the plugin and more questions, this probably can clear some stuff up. So, um, synchronization. I have, um, you know, this example of using software to synchronize renewal plans. And I have, you know, $250 per month, which I charge, and then $750 per month. There's also a yearly plan, which we won't get into, um, but we'll just use a starter license plan for $250 per month. So right now, when I you know go and check out on my own site, and I'm just gonna update this back to one. If I you know proceed to check out, my first renewal order is going to be on April 10th, 2020. And, but I'm also gonna you know, pay for my order on March 10th, 2020. Today, when this tutorial was filmed, it's March 10th, okay? And a month from now, my first renewal order is going to be April 10th. Cool, but I wanna align and synchronize my orders so um, all my customers are, um, the renewal orders or their, you know, their orders are happening on the first of each month. So if I go to, um, the dashboard, the WooCommerce subscriptions dashboard, and I go to WooCommerce and I click settings, okay, and I click subscriptions, there is this um, synchronization option, okay? And right now, so for example, the first day of, of the month, I want to align my, uh, my products to be the first day of the month. So I'm gonna align the subscription renewal date and do I wanna prorate the first renewal? That's what we're gonna get into in a second, but for now, I'm just gonna align this subscription renewal date and I'm click save changes. Okay, so I have this, I'm now gonna synchronize renewals, and now if I come back to this, go to my products and I go to the starter license, okay, that's the one where we saw $250 per month, and I go to this monthly option, right? You see 250 each month. I now have this option for synchronizing renewals. So you can do you know, a specific day of the month, you can do the last day of the month, you can do um, the first day of the month, et cetera. So you notice how they don't have like the 28th, 29th, or 30th. Uh, I believe that's because of February. And yeah, they're just more complications if they had that option. So right now I wanna do the first day of the month, okay? And I don't charge any sign-up fee right now and we'll get more into that. So I'm gonna click update. Okay. And now if I come back, and let's just say, for example, I'm just gonna go back to the plans page, okay, and I click buy now. And you guys are like, okay. So my payments aren't gonna run to the first of each month. So if someone signs up on March 10th, they are just gonna be signing up and their first payment's not gonna be run until April 1st, right? Exactly what it shows here. I'm actually just gonna run through the checkout because I think this is gonna be beneficial. So $250 on the first of each month. I'm gonna you know, fill up my information and I'm going to just put in a fake email address and let's just use a fake credit card number. Cool. Okay, I can't use this payment method. Maybe I didn't turn on staging. Bear with me for a second. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm just gonna make sure this is on staging mode, test mode, okay. So I'm gonna come back to my checkout. Okay, I'm just gonna run this just to give you guys a visual of what this looks like. This is with synchronization on the first of each month, but I'm not prorating anything right now. So as you can see, right now on March 10th, I'm paying zero dollars, okay? My next payment, or my first payment, should I say, is not till April 1st, 2020. Okay, today's March 10th, and 
when I go to my customers, I want them to pay from March 10th to April 1st. And how do I do that, right? I want all, I want to synchronize renewals to the first day of the month, but I want to prorate um, my subscriptions as well. So that meaning if someone signs up on March 10th, I want to get paid, you know, the portion of March from when they signed up until the first of the month. So, you know, today is March 10th. If I go and I, you know, do a quick Google search, and I search how many days between March 10th and April 1st, I see that there's 22 days, okay? And there's 31 days in March because there's 31 days in January. So if I do 22 divided by 31, and let's just say point, if I do 0 0.70 times uh, $250, that is what I'm, that is the starter license fee, I get $177, okay? And now if I come back to my WooCommerce settings, okay, I come back to my WooCommerce settings and I go to subscriptions and I scroll down to um, synchronization and for pro rating the first renewal, if I say for all subscription products or for all virtual subscription products, and I would just use for all subscription products unless um, you know, you have both physical subscription products and virtual subscription products. Virtual just means like think software or think of like, um, you know, an ebook, something that doesn't have to be shipped. So I'm just gonna do uh, for all subscription products just to be safe. And I'm just gonna click save. That's the only thing I offer. And, um, you know, for the fun of it, I'm just gonna do for virtual subscription products only. And then I'm gonna up, go back to my product and I'm gonna make sure that virtual is checked virtual yep this is a virtual product it is software and click save okay and now if I go to um, I'm gonna go to my plans page and use a different customer to check out just to show you guys how everything's gonna work by synchronization of the first of the month with um, prorating something so synchronized is on and they're gonna prorate the first renewal okay so I'm just gonna open up a totally new browser. I'm gonna open up Firefox, and I'm gonna go to my plans page, okay? And I'm gonna use this monthly for $250 per month, and I'm gonna keep going through the checkout. This is the first renewal, it's gonna be April 1st, 2020, that's what I want. And if I keep going through, I'm just gonna make up a name. Um, and I'm just gonna go through this. Um, And I'm just gonna go, um, okay. And I'm gonna use test mode. And even though this says 250 in the first of each month, we've customized the checkout and this will actually show $177 on the order confirmation page. So um, if yours looks that way, just bear with it and it will, it will actually run the, the correct way. So now if I go and I add in um, some test payment details, Click sign up now. You will see that I'm paying $177 because I'm signing up on March 10th and my next payment is April 1st. So remember how we got that $177? We figured out there's 21 days left in March. Okay, and we did um, 21 divided by 31, sorry, I think we did 20 divided by 31. What did we do? I had it. How many days between March? 22 days, okay, so 22 divided by 31 times, um, we did that times, if we bring up the calculator right here, just do this all back. So 22 days left in March divided by 31 days in March. And then we do that times uh, our fee of $250 per month is gonna be 177. And that's the price we pay the first month. The price next month is going to be $250. And then on May 1st, 2020, 250, uh, 
you know, June 1st, 2020, 250, and so forth. So that is synchronization with WooCommerce, and all these settings can be configured um, under the synchronization tab, under settings, and then clicking WooCommerce. And make sure after you set these settings up, you go back into your product and um, you look at and make sure this like synchronized renewals is on the first day of the month. If you had past customers that have not had renewals or had uh, subscription orders that are using synchronization, they are not going to start. So if you had you know, some customers that signed up on the 10th of the month, the 25th of the month, the 8th of the month in previous months, um, they're still gonna use the 8th of the month and they're gonna keep their same schedule unless you manually update them to get on your schedule of the first of the month. I really would recommend probably not touching this um, for your past customers if you're just updating like synchronization. You know, I always say just like don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. If people are, you know, continuing to pay and they're on a subscription, just let it be unless you have a really good reason, you know, to maybe change everybody to be the first of the month that are already on your subscriptions. And obviously, now that you guys made these updates to be synchronization to happen on the first of each month, they, um, all your new customers and subscribers will be on the first day of the month. So that is synchronization in WooCommerce. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and click the links in the bio below and let me know any questions or comments. And if you want to learn how to set up a variable subscription product, here's another video, or else if you're just trying to take WooCommerce subscriptions to the next level, we also have all products WooCommerce subscription video for you, which I think you guys are really gonna like. So until next time.